President Obama would do well to disregard all those who are calling for him to lose his calm, aloofness, and academic personality and display anger about BP's failure in capping the leak. After all, display of anger will do nothing to speed up the activity. The reality is, this is a catastrophe that requires engineering, not speeches or anger. I can guarantee that every competent engineer is trying to solve this catastrophe caused not by science proper, but likely greed of those who operate irrespective of science. Interesting enough, those wanting the president to display anger are the same that claim he was less than presidential when he stated to Matt Lauer he needed to consult to know whose rear end to kick. Had President Obama displayed anger during the election when the real elites attempted to make him the son of a single mother an elitist, he would not be president today. Had President Obama gotten angry defending all the lies and misinformation during the health care reform debate, the stimulus debate, and the socialist and fascist mischaracterizations he endured, then the issue by both the opposition and the media would be that of the angry black man. Chris Matthews, Rush Limbaugh, Sean Hannity, Keith Olbermann can go on radio and TV and get angry with no repercussions. Every intelligent black man knows that because of deliberate stereotypes when in the mainstream, display of anger is best curtailed, else others become unnecessarily uncomfortable.